Welcome back everyone to Spoopy October 2015. Well, last time I played Thudder Island, the, the original games, and it's a uh, sort of kind of prequel. Now I'm actually going to be playing Flutter Island RPG, made by Hedgehog Self. For those uh, not in the loop, I've, uh, Hedgehog Self is responsible for creating a series called Master Max and Great Legion Adventures in Equestria. Uh, more on that later. <laughs> um, I played that series uh, before, and I said I would never play it again. I made my opinion of Hedgehog Self rather clear on the last video of the Dreamy Rainbow Act. Quote, quote unquote. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this minimal as far as my influence is concerned. I think I'm just going to voice the characters and play the game and I'll, and I'll give my opinion after I'm done. With that said, I believe this is version 0 0.52. I'm not, I don't believe it's the final version if it, there's ever going to be a final version. So if, uh, you, if you ever play this game yourself and there's some new stuff or stuff removed or something like that, it might be because you're playing a different version. With that out of the way, let's begin. Where am I? Why am I here? How? Okay. I don't know why I'm here, but I guess I can only discover it if I explore this place. Controls, arrows, movement, Z, enter, drag, and shift to run. Wow. It's... Uh, I guess this is just a generic RPG Maker VX thing, but uh, it feels weird that you can't like stop uh, in the middle of a tile or something. There's no way? Well, I have to fly then. <sighs> yep. Like the intro to the first game. Except with dialogue. It's <laughs> we're not flying anymore now though, because uh, for some reason Hedgehog Self couldn't figure out a way to just have us move around collecting the coins while flying. Um, This music is nice. I, I kind of want to see... Uh, Bits? Why are bits here? What's going on here? I kind of want to see, uh, find out where the, this music is from. I, I I would say it's from a S Sonic the Hedgehog game, but I could be wrong. I checked the folder with the soundtrack. It, it The name of this music was changed to suit what uh, it's used for this game. So I don't know where it's from specifically. But it's kind of catchy. I would listen to it in my MP3 player, if, I'm, if I do say so myself. I don't know why there are so much bits here. Maybe it's a dream? That would explain this. What was that? Oh, actually, someone forgot to mention. I'm gonna actually going to walk backwards. Someone forgot to mention. This is part 7 of the Master Max and Great Legion series. Um, after Triple Trouble RPG. It, Triple Trouble RPG does not exist. And neither does the very first part of this series. Master Max Origins. I still. St I am pretty sure I said at some point. That I said that these, those parts would never be created. And I still stand by that statement. Because it hasn't been proven wrong yet. What if I go here? Nothing. What if I try to jump into a hole? Nothing? Nothing. Yeah. You're here. What? Who's talking? You're finally here. Who are you? I'm trapped. What? And so very lonely. But who are you? Why don't you give me an answer? Won't you join me? What? But why? Why is this happening? What is happening, Fluttershy? <laughs> if any of you watched the previous video, you all, you all know what's happening. But, uh, you know, let's, let's pretend we don't know. Also, there's a hole right there. It's kind of hard to tell, though. Hedgehog Self kind of likes to put uh, Easter eggs into his games, like up stews, difficult to find Easter eggs that involve doing stuff like going back into an area that uh, hasn't been visited since the very beginning. So I'm sorry if I forget any stuff. Like, like there might be a, 
a, a passage here that might lead to a new area. And that was Apple Bloom right there. This must be a nightmare. 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 I don't know if I should have touched that cat or something. Like, it probably would have just disappeared or spooked us with a creepy image. Run. Yeah, you have to run. Uh, I actually wanted to go backwards, but... Yeah, figures. Uh, we, I'm pretty sure we all know what's going to happen if Apple Bloom catches us, catches up to me. Please leave me alone. Let's see what happens if I go backwards. Probably maybe an instant game over or something. I'm not sure. Um, if you get caught by... I'm pretty sure that's a now only reskin or something. Or it's just an enlarged Apple Bloom strike. If you get caught by Apple Bloom, it's probably just like a one image. Then the game closes. Yeah, no Easter egg. Never mind. I have to jump again. Here I go. Why not fly, Fluttershy? You can fly. Why do you run? Because you're scaring me! Is this not fun for you? No, not at all! This is so upsetting. Oh, 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 now I can fly and move around. That's, that is so bizarre. Uh, but it is uh, very atypical of Hedgehog self to do something weird like this. T to have a situation where you were supposed to be flying, turn into walk on the ground, and then all of a sudden uh, you got this situation right here where you're flying all around. Moving forward. I guess I have to talk to a uh, creepy bloom. But that's okay. I'm sure you'll have to change your part. And it's not like you can escape from me. After all. I've got my eye on you. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Eh? What? <laughs> okay, that's a funny edited image of a creepy bloom. Well, this nightmare isn't... Ah, not... Uh, no, this is not a nightmare. This is just your mind. My mind? Yep. But why are you scaring me then? With that voice and that creepy face. This is my natural voice and face, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's just... That's like a completely different vector. Ah, whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. But why are we in my mind? What's happening? Let me help you remember. And be careful. This place is kind of creepy. I'm sorry if I'm intruding too much on the game right now, but this is my first time playing it. For the, for the very first time, I'm playing one of Hedgehog Cell's games blind. Every other game I've played of his, I did post-commentary on it. But this is my mind. Why is this so creepy? You will know soon. So now we're switching to Flutter Island 2, I guess. That's it? Is that really it? Well, it is not, as I said, it's not the final version, but that's a bit disappointing because that means uh, I have to leave this as is because uh, I have nothing else, because I had nothing else uh, planned to play tonight and uh, I can't just say like, oh, let's play a sequel or the prequel or something like that because they don't exist yet. Uh, well, you know what? Let me try to open the game again. Just, just to see. No, no, nothing. It, it, it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually like play a new sequence or something like that. It just plays over from the beginning. So yeah, that was Flutter Island RPG. It's, it's incomplete. S surprisingly enough, I mean, it, it couldn't, it can't be that difficult to replicate Flutter Island two and even Apple's Airware in RPG format, even if you do add a few lines here and there. Although speaking of lines, I'm, I'm a bit surprised that. All the new lines weren't that grammatically incorrect. Kind of concerning how bad the Silent Ponyville and pretty much all of pretty much all of uh, Hedgehog Self's other games have bad phrases. But speaking of Hedgehog Self, he's actually he's done some other projects. Uh, as I was like going to download this game off his uh, blog or Game Jolt account, he's done some 
Spanish only games, like, b uh, like for the sake of a completely different uh, YouTuber, I think maybe. I'm not positive. You know what? Since this game only lasted like five minutes, let's let's go ahead and check it out. Yeah, right here. You, you see, Flutter Island RPG Saga. It, it's incomplete. It's only version 0.41. Wow, I was way off. And it hasn't been updated since July. That's quite a long time ago. I'm not. I'm not positive he'll ever bother finishing this. And here he describes it as this game is the seventh part of the saga. Master Max and little fanbase adventures in Equestria. It used to be Great Legion. I'm not sure why he's calling it little fanbase now. Maybe maybe there was a change I was not aware of. Still feels weird. So the, the new games I was talking about is this one right here. There's Las Adventuras, the Pippin Nightmare. That's another YouTuber, I think. Maybe Spanish only. I'm not positive, but I kind of want to try it out to see how it is. No one else has bothered playing it. And also another thing. Sana Ponyville is not anywhere here. It's it's got it like I'm assuming it's this thing right here. The question marks. It says that he's updating it. I'm not sure what he's gonna like 25 days ago. I'm not sure what he's gonna be updating in Sana Ponyville. It was like his best project. Maybe he's updating the dialogue. I guess that would make sense, but it should not take 25 days to do that. But whatever, it's his business. Uh, let's let's check out uh, Les, Las Adventuras de Pepe. I actually want to check that out. Because it's completely, it's it's unrelated to My Little Pony. Or Master Max or anything. And it's actually a bigger file size than uh, <laughs> uh, Flutter Island RPG. So you know what, I'm going to check it out. Okay, uh, that uh, took a bit longer to download than I expected. But here we are. T. T. Pepe's Adventures. Not sure if Pepe is English or Spanish, but it seems like Hedgehog Silva found someone else to look up to, or to hopefully, he, like he's hoping that Pepe will notice him. I mean, he's doing these games because uh, of the attention, like not not in a bad way, just that uh, he likes someone, whether they're a YouTuber or whatnot, and he makes something for them. And I don't really have any issue with that specifically. The the problem with the, the Master Max and Great Legion series is that it also involved using Mild Pony characters and other games that people made, games that weren't very well made, and making crappier versions of those. All while trying to, all while trying to get the attention of the person he's uh, making the game for, but, that he's pretending to make the game for. Because I mean, doing the game RPG Saga that was. In fact, just look at, just watch my Luna Game RPG Saga series if you want, guys want to find out how crazy it gets. Let's see what Pepe's Adventures is. RGSS2OOE dot DLL cannot be found. That's that's something that's a little common with the uh, RPG Maker VX. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. Yeah, just copy paste from uh, another folder. Okay, so it's only Spanish, and it's penne when you uh, open the game. So, well, really? <laughs> this was done for humor's sake. From what I could read from the description of this, it was all Spanish. So, I don't expect to get spooked or anything. I just I just want to find out how uh, Hedgehog Self does a game that's not related at all to My Little Pony. As, as far as I know. Advertencia. Este juego contiene altos niveles de humor verde negro absurdo y random. Si no te gusta ninguno de estos tipos de humor, le recomendamos que no juegue a este juego. No se han usado pepes inteligentes en la producción de este juego, pero si algún que otro pollo XD de DDD ahora procedamos con el juego Ministerio de Juegos de los Cojones Gobierno de Viejo Self. Um, there might be offensive content in this, maybe? Yeah. And this seems to be much more RPG-ish than the other games. Hola. What? Um, okay. Metelo por el culo. It's a tutorial. So this is not related to Mile Pony at all. It's but it's much more RPG. It's just in mierda. 
Middle cargo is little. I can't speak Spanish at all. I'm sorry. I only took like one semester of that uh, language. Why was the sound for uh, changing like uh, the cursor turn into a bell? That's a little annoying. You know, techniques. You got Pepe attack. Let's try that. It did nothing, maybe? Even the description was just like, <laughs> unless that's like supposed to be Spanish, I'm pretty sure that the description is just like, let's put as many uh, words again. As terminova. One damage. That's it. Ninety thousand experience points. Level twenty. <laughs> oh, never mind. So so much for this. I have no relation to Malapony, and I'm forced to do a battle right here. Madre mia. So, is that a friend or someone I'm going to fight? Really? Wait. That's a PewDiePie team, isn't it? Can I run? No, I can't. And that's to switch out characters. Okay, what is with this music? I mean, this one's made as a joke, but jeez. Can I do this? Damage to all of the enemies. They don't deal very much damage, but... Uh, well, how much HP do they have? Let me check that out. Also, you know what? I'm going to lower the music for your sakes, because uh, that's just awful. Yeah, just one more Lumini. Luminaria, and they're all done. Or most of them, anyway. Dang it. There. Stop the music. Jeez. Only 272 experience points. Okay. You ponies. I don't know why you're all always in the Hedgehog Selves games. I guess he still likes to show. Good for him, I guess. I'm trying to talk to them. I guess I should talk to Flourish Hikon so she moves so slowly. Oh my goodness. I was not prepared for that. My headset... Oh, my ears are so hurting right now. Okay, you know what? No, I... I, I tested this long enough. I just wanted to check it out. Um... A taste of what Hedgehog Self's humor is like in his original language, I guess? I was not told to play that, so I can... I can only blame myself for trying that out, but... Jeez! And right now he's working on updating Silent Ponyville. With, with, with what? Why did I... Like, I mean, Silent Ponyville needs lots of help, but I would much rather that he, you know, works on something that has a competent level of planning or or something original. I mean, original, original. Not, not the type of original we just played, please. I mean, that could be... I mean, that, that game could be the start of a new series for uh, Hedgehog Self, because he's done a second one. I'm not sure if it's about Pepe again, but there's a second game that's called T... T or T-U-H or something like that. There's a second game with that that starts with that title, which gives me the impression that... Well, I've said this before, and I'm probably wrong, but I have a feeling that Hedgehog Self is never going to ever finish uh, Master Max and Great Legion in the of the Quest yet, because, I mean, he said he would do... He will continue the story with Triple Trouble RPG at the end of Jimmy Rainbow, but he skips right ahead to Flutter Island, or Flutter Island uh, RPG Saga, rather, and it's still not finished, even though it's super basic to make. And it's also, yet again, a game that's uh, based on someone else's work that was also based on someone else's work, and, you know, so on and so forth. And one question I have to ask is, why? I mean... 
this might be out of place for me to say this, but does Master Max care anymore? D does he even play these games? Actually, you know what? That that was the wrong the wrong question for me to ask because I think what I really wanted to ask is, did Master Max ever care to begin with? Because if you look at my first video of this series, Silent Ponyville, Master Max actually did a sort of kind of drive-by post saying that somewhat sarcastically that uh, I should not have insulted him, even though that was not really my intention. I was really mostly insulting the OC in the game, and he and his he and Presumably, some of his friends uh, all kind of jumped on me, saying I should not have uh, insulted Master Max without watching his videos in the first place. Even though I did peek at his video list, and from my impression, he basically plays spoopy games like these. Someone attested that all he plays now is Five Nights at Freddy clones or something like that. Uh, I don't blame him. If that's what gets him views, good for him. I'm going to play Five Nights at Freddy's perhaps later this week. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why he claimed he wasn't a PewDiePie clone, because that's exactly what I meant by that term. Playing spoopy games like these and pretending that you're scared of them, that's what I mean by PewDiePie clone. It It's something that people do, because people saw PewDiePie doing that, because he started pretending he was scared at all these games, and, and making these running gags with Barrels and Stefano, which I kind of liked, and... Everyone kept watching him for that. He get, he makes $25 million a year. And I don't blame you for looking at that and saying, you know what? If that's what gets you views, I'm going to do that too. It's fine to be a PewDiePie clone thinking that's going to get me money. And especially if it does make you money. Fair enough. It's super late for me to respond to what he criticized me for. But don't pretend you're not a PewDiePie clone just because you don't play the exact same games PewDiePie plays himself. My definition of the term PewDiePie clone is that you play a game that's clearly not well made, solely made for you to react at, and you pretend that you actually cared about it. You pretend you were scared or that you thought it was funny or something like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Good for you, especially if it makes you money. But going back to the point I was trying to make with Hedgehog Self and Master Max not giving a sh** anymore, he and his friends all criticized me for insulting or sort of kind of insulting Master Max in the very first video. What about at all those times I insulted his dog self? I did that much more often. I was very explicit about it, but none of he or none of his friends ever bothered defending Hedgehog self. Ever. Which is what gives me an impression that he did not give a shit about Hedgehog self to begin with. And yet here we are with part 7 of this series. With part 6 and 1 missing in action. I suppose it's just an understanding between the game creator and the uh, YouTuber. They keep this basic level of contact. Please play my game. I want to watch you playing it. And that's it. Neither side actively... They don't actually consider themselves to be friends. It's just, uh, it's just that. I guess it just kind of bothers me that, in a way, I care about Hedgehog Self's games more than he does. He or Master Max or Hedgehog Self himself, I guess. Anyway, there's hardly anything for me to review here. The The game is clearly incomplete. It's probably going to be updated in like, what, several months from now? Not sure if I'll ever check it out. Maybe in spoopy October 2016. Much like I did with all of his previous uh, games, I'm leaving a link to his Game Jolt account in case you want to, in case you want to check this out or try this yourself. Hope you all enjoyed what little content I showed to you guys, and hope you all are very nice day. Next time, well, maybe Five Nights at Freddy's, but maybe also something else. Bye bye.